Chris Hockley, Missouri Track Fanatic and Running Junkie with Victor Mugetje, the Blue Springs Junior. And uh, before we talk about today here at uh, Terre Haute, Indiana for the Nike Cross Midwest, talk go back to last week and uh, his runner-up finish in the Class 4 race and leading his Blue Springs uh, Wildcats to, let's see, a fourth place finish. Yeah, yeah. Um, tell me, obviously going in the race, I'm sure there's lots of great runners in the state, but I'm sure it was, was the goal to try to get the individual title and and uh, try to see how, how high the team could finish? Well, definitely, yeah, seeing how high the team could finish. We didn't really know because we had a teammate injured a few weeks before, but he was just getting back, so for that, we didn't really know what was going to happen. Two, uh, uh, it was our number, number uh, three, three or four, he switched okay. off, yeah, but, um, but individually, I just wanted to go out there, and I knew Austin and Clayton were going to be up there, even John Luter. I just wanted to run with those guys, compete, and have fun. You know, like, I think Greg Hall posted a picture. He said, you know, any one of these guys could have won, right. and that's so true, you know. Yeah. I just want to go compete with them and have fun. No, it was fun to watch the race play out between you four because the four were phenomenal runners and just kind of a fun strategic battle between the four of you. But uh, yet, I know uh, they, Austin and uh, and Clayton came through the mile, and you were right there behind him with John. And then I think a mile and a half, uh, Clayton tried to make a move, yeah, and yeah. Austin covered it too. And tell me how the race played out from there. On. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, Clayton made that move, and that was surprising because he did it to me a lot the week before at sectionals. Sure. And uh, I wasn't able to respond to it very well. But this week, uh, definitely having Austin there responding to it, it really helped me because I moved with Austin a little bit. I didn't. I wasn't able to move as fast as he did, but uh, I definitely responded with Austin. Yeah. And then it was at Firehouse. That was where. Um, I saw, uh, that's where I really made my big move, and that's, that's where I planned to from the beginning. Sure. And then um, after that, I saw Austin, he took off, and then I was like, my goal from then was, you know, to catch up to clean and then just finish my best, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then tell me what it was like after the race, just behind the finish shoot there, to, to unofficially hear that you guys had gotten the trophy and finished fourth. That yeah, was, yeah. was fun watching the celebration. Tell me about it. Yeah, that it. moment was amazing, because, you know, we just didn't know what was going to happen. We could have finished, you know, fourth, we could have finished seventh, you know, but just hearing that we got fourth, and it's just such a big shocker. It's just, sure. it was amazing. Look, there's so much excitement and joy around for all of us. It was, it was, it was great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And individually, pretty happy with 15, what, 35? Uh, 15, 38, or okay. 7, something like that. So, yeah. was that three or four seconds behind your brother's time yes, when he yeah. won state? Yeah. Well, did he, give you, did he point that out to you at he all? Did. That he did, he did, yes, yeah. <laughs> but he was definitely happy for me and told sure. me, you know, gave me motivation to come back next year and hit it hard. Right, right. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, I, I think I think you've got to feel pretty good to, to finish runner up to a guy who's gone 903 as a junior. Sure, yeah. And 32, but. Uh, was it more fun to be up there for number two or to be up there with the number four for your team? Definitely the number four because yeah. that just came out of nowhere. You, we, you didn't really know how we are going to place and just having all of us at the podium, that was just an amazing moment. You know? Sure, sure. Yeah, definitely. And obviously losing, uh, doing it with, after losing Cody Berry, a big, oh, yeah. big yeah, yeah, strong, mm -hmm. strong showing for the, the program, the program strength and depth. Yes, but, sir. Uh, well, take me back to today and uh, um, um, obviously you, everybody's goal is to be in that top five and to get the, earn that free trip to to Portland to Beaverton for Nike Cross Nationals, but what was you what were you thinking coming into the day? Yeah, my goal was just to go out hard because last year I failed and the first mile was slow and my next two miles were just catching with people, catching with people. But here I went out fast and I hit it hard and from the beginning I got up in that front pack and my goal was just to stick with those guys as long as possible. I knew that there was gonna be a time when they were gonna separate. There's a lot of good guys, there's a lot of competitive guys, so I just wanna hold on as long as I can and uh, I'm pretty happy with the way I finished, and sure. uh, yeah, just it's exciting to go out there and race other guys from different states and stuff, sure. and talk to those people. So yeah. And what did you end up? 18th, 19th? I was actually like thir 13th, I believe. 13th. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I You're fine. was. Uh, Man, even more impressive. Thank you. Thank the you. lens of the camera can't can't quite tell, but uh, <laughs> um, man, that's got to give you confidence going into track and coming in next year. That man, you've got a good shot at trying to make one of the, make nationals next year. Thank you. That's definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What uh, um, um, what you remember what you came through the mile? Because I know the leader came through at like 4:46, just blasted. Yeah. Him. The mile, I actually could not hear. Okay. It was just, it was crazy chaos. Yeah. A ton of us up there, I wasn't sure. But the leader was only in a few meters in front of the, the first pack, so. Sure. Just probably just a few seconds behind that. Yeah. And what are you what are you thinking as you turn make that turn and have this huge, long finish stretch? What's, yeah. Are you thinking, you know, I'm tired. I'm just going to step aside and uh, well, I'm going to just <laughs> relax and, you know, you know, chuck it in, you know. Call it a day, or, or just cruise in, or were you trying to still? Were you mentally able to stay, stay uh, in it? Yeah, that time? I was definitely uh, still in it, but all those thoughts started creep in at that moment. You sure. look up and you see all those guys, you know, starting to take off, and your body just feels so tired. But you know, I just, 
I just uh, kind of learned to shut those thoughts out and just keep on going. There's three True. guys who are around me on that uh, 400 meter stretch and I was able to catch them in the last few meters and yeah. uh, just having people with me finishing kind of motivated me to go faster. And I, that's why I like coming out to here meets like this. Have so many people just to catch, so many people to push you harder. Sure, so. sure. It was great, yeah. Yeah, well, it was an impressive uh, season for you as a junior and uh, um, I know many great things ahead. What uh, you gonna relax and take some time off then, or or uh, or are you just gonna go get hit hit the hit the roads hard? What's the plan for you? Well, I actually plan to do Foot Locker oh, okay. Nationals. Yeah, weeks. nice. And because I haven't done that yet, my brother did it his sophomore year, so I want to see what I can go out and do sure. over there, just have fun. After that, I'll probably take some a little time off, but I want to sure. hit hard indoor, so nice. not too much time. Nice. Yes. Well, congrats. It's been fun to watch you uh, continue you so to grow the last couple of years and improve and improve. So. Thank you, Victor, and uh, good luck in, uh, in Kenosha in a couple weeks. Thank you. All right, thanks. All right.